natural fitness transformation in five years you can do it too i had horrible genetics growing up so i was always chubby then to lose all the weight and gain some kind of confidence i starved myself went down to 150 skinny fat no gym in my first year of university i started hitting the weights and then I discovered dirty bulking and got up to 180, but I look like poop because I never built muscle. You can see here, I was just plain fat, had no muscle at 180. And then I would cut, cut down to 160 from 180, but bounce back right to 180 when my quote unquote cut ended. And I didn't look good at 160. I looked like a shrunken version of myself at 180. So year four is really when I hard bulked up to 200 230 properly and i have a whole video detailing that and then year five cut down look like a greek god 170 to 180 but took five years welcome to my channel the entire video of actually what this first minute is is coming right up my name's dylan i hope you guys enjoy the video and hopefully this can inspire you guys to chase your dreams my realistic five year natural fitness transformation broken down by my starting point my middle ground my end point and where I am currently. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Dylan. I do all things in the fitness, motivational, business, and career space to help better you. And today we're going to be talking about my five year fitness transformation. No steroids, no testosterone, just hard work, experimentation, and training. Honestly, training and dieting. So learn from my mistakes. Don't be like me. And you'll probably get to where I am with good genetics in less than the five years it took me because I really had no resources to teach me how to properly bulk up, get muscular, get shredded, get lean, get aesthetic. So first we start off with the beginning. This was before I even found the gym. When I was growing up, I was super chubby. I have chubby DNA, meaning I gain weight really easily. I don't have a fast metabolism, so growing up, I was not the most aesthetic kid. I was a little bit overweight. I still played sports though, but my eating was out of control. Fast forward, I got really skinny when I finished high school due to starving myself. And I also got really into cardiovascular activities like basketball, boxing, you name it. And I got super skinny, but I thought I was very fresh. I thought that this is what being attractive looked like. And in my first year of university, that's when I discovered the gym. This is the euphoria phase. This is the phase where if you think you're just going to pump out a bunch of iron, pump a bunch of reps in the gym, you're going to be jacked. You feel jacked, honestly, when you're in the gym and get that pump on. So first year of university, I was weighing around 160-ish, pumping iron working out six days a week with my good friends and i wasn't getting strong i had bad form i was just doing the quote unquote hard work being at the gym which i enjoyed because it took stress off of my engineering degree and the studying so working out about two and a half hours a day non-stop and the progress was okay you know you get the newbie gains but i was scared of becoming fat again so i really didn't eat too much and i didn't eat that much protein which isn't good year two i find christian guzman christian guzman's a big time influencer now he owns alpha land alpha Elite. super inspirational back when i was in university in the 18 19 20 year old point of my life he's the one who actually started my content creation journey so thank you to cg but i discovered that he was bulking and i was like hey let me go with the bulk approach bulk and cut approach right so second year of my university degree i bulked up dirty bulk didn't care about the macronutrients didn't care about the protein and again i didn't know what i was doing in the gym bad form ego lifting two and a half hours in the gym just wasn't knowledgeable in the correct way to train or eat so i put on weight i went from 160 all the way to 185 in a matter of months not even prolonged months but like three to four months and then i plateaued and i look like crap here was actually my entry video to christian guzman's um summer shredding at the time hey christian my name is dylan wong um this is my summer shredding 2019 i'm kind of nervous but excited So, currently, 
and then I'm about to go weigh myself. See how much I weigh. So, yeah, this is very exciting. Thank you. See you guys in four months. Peace. So then with that bulk came the cut which lasted three months. It was an intense cut where I actually started to track everything but little did I know I wasn't getting enough protein. I was overdoing with cardio and I was spending so much time in the gym and the end result of it was a decent physique. It wasn't anything spectacular. I didn't put on enough muscle. I didn't even put on much muscle from that quote unquote dirty bulk. And I did this for the next two years. I would bulk up and then cut, bulk up and cut. And every bulk was an excuse to just eat like shit while training decently. And that's when I got tired of it. I'm like, why don't I have, you know, a good physique? Why don't I have a Greek God physique? So what the problem is, is with naturals, you can't just bulk for five to six months. Minimum, you should be bulking for eight months, and that's on the shorter side. So in my last year of university, I did a crazy bulk, and I documented it every step of the way. I got up to 230 pounds, and I sat there for months. I was training properly, I was dieting properly, I was hitting my macronutrients, and I satiated those muscles and I was working out every day only for an hour and 45 minutes. So from an hour, 45 minutes down from two and a half hours, that's 45 minutes saved basically. But when I realized that I can't just keep dirty bulking and cutting and I'm going to look like crap at the end of the cut. And also on top of that, when you cut for three to four months, you start binging, you know, you, you bulked only for five months and then you're cutting for three months. You're going to binge eat and you're going to look skinny fat. So I went through the phase of being fat, being decently lean, I wouldn't even say shredded, and then being skinny fat. And I was just sick of that. I was sick of rebounding so hard, gaining all that weight back. And basically, I took this long bulk, and when I cut, I cut for six months, and I lost 50 pounds. A lot of that is water, of course, but one metric is, and if you guys wanna learn how to actually build an aesthetic body, Check out my last YouTube video, but the one metric is, is strength. You have to have a proper training program and you have to have a proper diet when cutting and bulking. Bulking is not an excuse to eat like shit. So fast forward, did my cut, put on a good amount of muscle, and then the following summer I did an actual shred and that's where I got that aesthetic look. That's where all my muscle insertions were fully developed and that's where I looked the best. So. That's my five-year transformation. Currently, I'm on a lean bulk. I now weigh 180 and I look leaner, better, and just more healthy than when I did a quote-unquote 180 dirty bulk. Or I look leaner than when I was at 160. So that's the importance of proper training, proper nutrition. If you guys need help, subscribe. I always document or vlog my daily life. I talk about fitness, business again. My name's Dylan. I hope you guys enjoyed my breakdown of who I am, my five-year fitness transformation, and I hope I inspired you guys. DM me, follow me on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, X, whatever platforms. I offer online coaching as well, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Appreciate you guys supporting.